Alright, let's talk about Ming Jing, better known as Zeke. But the first thing that I want to mention is that this was tested on the test server. Plus, we use average player stats, so you may get better results than we did. But I also want to give a special thanks to Kuasa, to where you can find him over at Twitch, over at Moasa Gaming, to where he does raids, Void Abyss 6 carries, and more, as long as you're in the North American region. And Kazer, my Claudia Matrix expert. These two are essential when it comes to testing out these characters. And Ridley, greatest Discord moderator, and Bacardi, who helps keep me on track when it comes to Tower of Fantasy news. So now let's go ahead and talk about his mechanics. His main mechanic is his skill, which grants hyperbody. When activated, he puts down a field which allows you to summon Dark Souls to do constant AoE damage. He can also apply Snake Bite, which causes even more AoE damage. You activate Snake Bite by doing five normal attacks or dodging. And Snake Bite can be applied to four targets, or five if you have the matrices allowing them to be part of a Serpent Chain. What you guessed it causes even more AOE damage. How you can tell someone is part of the Serpent Chain, you should see a snake icon above the target. Then he has his Execute Mode, which is activated by pressing your skill a second time. What this will do is bounce a Dark Soul back at the totem, which will light up all the totems causing no more Dark Souls to spawn until the field disappears. But you gain the ability to do a dodge hold attack to where you can enter the selfless realm. You can do three dark slashes, which does massive damage a slash. But once you activate this, it goes on a very long cooldown and the mode cannot be entered for a very long time. So now let's talk about his playstyle. Zeke is a hyper carry providing synergy with Janono, giving physical much needed AoE, survivability, and provides grouping. You mainly want to activate his skill, then normal attack and dodge while on the field. But Zeke is also a great support, especially for Flame. Due to the AoE, Grievous, and DPS resonance he provides for the Flame team. For Frost, he brings the added benefit of replacing Alice, providing more damage and grouping for Frost. But he does lower the team's shield breaking ability. Next, let's talk about its ascensions, which you don't really need unless you want to fully maximize his DPS. Zeke is a very powerful unit at zero star. His first ascension allows you to do a lot of damage as long as you can provide a lot of Grievous to the target. And sadly, the only character that can do that is an A5 Janono, but there may be more in the future. His three star is a very slight DPS increase, allowing you to have a snake chain member more easily. His five star is another quality of life ability, allowing you to take less damage. And his six star is where you should see a big DPS increase, especially when it comes to single targets. So now let's go ahead and take a look at his trait, which is a necessity if you're going to main DPS with Z, increasing his final damage and increasing your base attack to your highest elemental stat, and on top of that increases his normal attacks, which is his main damaging move. But if you're not main DPSing with Zeke, I recommend that you use the other main DPS's respective trait. So now let's go ahead and discuss Zeke's elemental resonance. Zeke is the first character to have a dual elemental resonance, but Zeke's attacks are still considered physical, so in elemental pacific content, he will not be able to affect anything that doesn't take physical damage. But like most of the new characters, Zeke has a special skill. Essentially, whenever he casts a skill, he's just going to provide extra AoE damage. This damage is increased by your physical attack, your HP, the sum of all your resistances, and crits. And this can further be increased by 1.3 times as long as you have a flame, vote, or frost character on your team. Alright, now let's get to the fun part, the DPS calculations. So the O comp consisted of Fiona, Janono, and Umi. With Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Fiona, Janono using a 3 star 4 piece Janono, and Umi using a 3 star 4 piece Lyra. And in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, they were able to reach 588 million. But if you enjoyed these character showcases, consider subscribing. I do character showcases, weekly guides, and more in Tower of Fantasy. So let's start with the meta comp, and these are the average stats that we are using. A little over 10k crit and close to 30,000 physical attack. And for this team, it consisted of Fiona, Janono, and Z. And for the matrices, we have quite a few combinations. So version 0 has no matrices, with Fiona having a 3 star 4 piece Fiona, Janono having no matrices, and Z having a 3 star 4 piece Lyra. Now this is a starting point so that way we can compare between other matrices. Version 1 consists of Zeke matrices, with Fiona using a 3 star 4 4 piece Fiona, Janono using Zeke's 0 star and 3 star 4 piece matrices, and Zeke using a 3 star 4 piece Lyra. Version 2 consisted of no Zeke matrices, with Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Fiona, Janono using a 3 star 4 piece Janono, and Zeke using a 3 star 4 piece Lyra. 
Version 3 consisted of free-to-play matrices, with Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Shiro, Shinono using a 3-star 4-piece Habuela, and Zeke using a 3-star 2-piece Shiro, 3-star 2-piece Samir, and Version 4 which had no Lyra matrices, with Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Fiona, Shinono using a 3-star 4-piece Shinono, and Zeke using a 3-star 4-piece Zeke, which was only tested at the 6-star live stat value. And this team used the Zeke trait. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill, they used Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill, they used Maelstrom. But if you have over 1.6 million HP, you want to use Wellspring as the primary skill. So here are the results of the meta team in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Here's what we can do at 0 star. As you can see, Zeke matrices are the clear winner, bringing us to 1 star, which does have a significant DPS increase. 3 and 5 star had a slight DPS increase due to them being quality of life. Then we have 6 star to where you can see the max potential of Zeke's matrices. And this is what this team can do using live stat values. As you can see, version 1 with max Zeke matrices is the clear winner by a large margin. So now let's talk about the rotation, which is really simple. Ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs. So you want to activate Fiona's discharge into her skill. Then you want to activate Janono's discharge into her skill. Then you want to swap to Zeke and activate Maelstrom and then activate Zeke's skill. Then you're going to do Zeke's 5 normal attack combo, you should see him slam a sword on the ground, then quickly dodge. And you want to do this 3-4 to four times, and you want to swap when Maelstrom is at 8 seconds. And then you want to simply rinse and repeat. So for our next team, we tested out Monophysical. And these are the average stats that we are using, close to 11,000 crit and close to 30,000 physical attack. And this team consisted of Umi, Chinono, and Zeke. And for the matrices, we have quite a few combinations. Version 0 consisted of no matrices, with Umi using a 3-star 4-piece Chinono, Chinono using no matrices, and Zeke using a 3-star 4-piece Lyra. This was used to compare the other matrices. Version 1 consisted of physical matrices, with Umi using a 3-star 4-piece Chinono, Chinono using Zeke's 0-star and 3-star 4-piece matrices, and Zeke using a 3-star 4-piece Lyra. Version 2 consisted of free-to-play matrices, with Umi using a 3-star 4-piece Shiro, Chinono using a 3-star 4-piece Habuela, and Zeke using a 3-star 2-piece Shiro, 3-star 2-piece Amir. And they use the Zeke trait. So here's what this team was able to do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Here's what we can do at 0-star. As you can see, physical matrices are the clear winner, which brings us to 1-star, with physical matrices still greatly ahead. At 6-star, you can see what Zeke's matrices can do fully maxed out. And this is what this team can do using live stat values. As you can see, a pretty big increase, but it does not match our meta team. So now let's talk about the rotation, which is actually pretty complicated. Ideally, you want to have one discharge bar for faster buffs. You want to activate Janono's discharge into her skill, and then you want to activate Umi's skill. Then you want to immediately forward dodge attack with Zeke into Zeke's skill. Then you want to do a 5 normal attack combo to a forward dodge 3 times. Then you want to activate Janono's discharge into her skill. Then you want to do 1 normal attack into a hold attack with Janono. And you want to do this until Umi's charge bar is 3 fourths full. Then you want to jump cancel Umi's discharge into Umi's skill, and then rinse and repeat step 3 and above. Which brings us to the next comp, Altered Zeke, and these are the average stats that we're working with. A little over 10k crit and close to 31,000 physical attack. And this team consisted of Lin, Fiona, and Zeke. And there's quite a few matrix combinations, with version 0 consisting of no matrices, with Lin using no matrices, Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Fiona, and Zeke using a 3-star 4-piece Lin. This is what we use to compare the other matrices. Version 1 consisted of altered matrices, with Lin using Zeke's 0-star and 3-star 4-piece matrices. Fiona used a 3-star 4-piece Fiona, and Zeke used a 3-star 4-piece Lin. Version 2 consisted of DPS matrices, with Lin using a 3-star 4-piece Fiona, Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Lin, and Zeke using a 3-star 4-piece Lyra. Version 3 consisted of free-to-play matrices, with Lin using a 3-star 4-piece Shiro, Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Habuela, and Zeke using a 3-star 2-piece Shiro, 3-star 2-piece Amir. And they use a Zeke trait. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill, they use Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill, they use Maelstrom. But do note that if you have over 1.6 million HP, you want your primary skill to be Wellspring. So this is what this team can do, and 
2 minutes and 30 seconds. Here's what we can do at 0 star. As you can see, DPS matrices are the clear winner. 1 star had a slight DPS increase due to lack of Grievous applied. 6 star, you can see what Zeke's matrices can do fully starred. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. As you can see, max Zeke matrices are the clear winner but it still does not stack up to the meta team. Now let's talk about the rotation, which is similar to the meta team. Ideally, you wanna have one discharge for faster buffs. You wanna start out by activating Lin's skill to Fiona's discharge into her skill. Then you wanna swap to Zeke and activate Maelstrom into Zeke's skill. Then you wanna do his five normal attack combo into a forward dodge and do this three to four times. And you wanna swap when Maelstrom is at eight seconds. Then you wanna jump cancel Lin's discharge into her skill. And then you wanna activate Fiona's discharge into her skill. And then you wanna rinse and repeat step three and above. Now let's talk about the flame teams. And the O team consisted of Fiona, Leowa, and Lon. With Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Fiona, Leowa using a 3 star 4 piece Leowa, and Lon using a 3 star 4 piece Lon. And in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, they were able to reach 574 million. So these are the average stats of our first flame team. Almost 10k crit and close to 29,000 flame attack. Consisted of Fiona, Leowa, and Zeke. And for the matrices, we have quite a few combinations. Version 0 consisted of no matrices, with Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Fiona, Leowa using a 3 star 4 piece Leowa, and Zeke using no matrices. We use this to compare all the other matrices. Version 1 consisted of Zeke matrices, with Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Fiona, Leowa using a 3 star 4 piece Leowa, and Zeke using his 0 star and 3 star matrices. Version 2 consisted of DPS matrices, with Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Fiona, Leowa using a 3 star 2 piece Lyra, 3 star 2 piece Cobalt, and Zeke using a 3 star 4 piece Leowa. Version 3 consisted of free to play matrices, with Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Shiro, Leowa using a 3 star 2 piece Shiro, 3 star 2 piece Samir, and Zeke using a 3 star 4 piece Haboella. Version 4 consisted of no Leowa matrices, with Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Fiona, Leowa using a 3 star 2 piece Lyra, and 3 star 2 piece Cobalt, and Zeke using his 3 star 4 piece matrices. This was tested using the live stats at 6 star. Version 5 consisted of no Fiona matrices, with Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Leowa, Leowa using a 3 star 2 piece Lyra, 3 star 2 piece Cobalt, and Zeke using his 3 star 4 piece matrices. This was also tested at 6 star using live stat values. And they used the Leowa trait, and for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill they used Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill they used Wellspring. So this is what this team could do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Starting with 0 star, and you'll notice that DPS matrices are the clear winner. 6 star with Zeke's max matrix matrices barely beat DPS matrices. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. Max Zeke matrices are the clear winner, but as you can see, various matrix combinations are very close, especially DPS matrices. So now let's talk about the rotation, which is very similar to the old meta team. Ideally, you want to have one discharge for faster buffs. So you want to start out by activating Zeke skill and casting Wellspring, and then do a dodge attack. Next, you do Fiona's discharge into her skill, and then you activate Leah with skill, and then you do two normal attacks into a hold attack you do this six times. Then you jump cancel Zeke's discharge into his skill, and then you activate Fiona's discharge into her skill, and then you rinse and repeat step three and above. No, the main thing that you're trying to do is watch Leo with skill. Once it has a two to three second cooldown, you want to go ahead and cancel Zeke's discharge. So now let's go ahead and talk about the next flame team, and these are the average player stats. Almost 10k crit and over 30,000 flame attack. And this team consisted of Lon, Leowa, and Zeke. And for the matrices, we have quite a few combinations. Version 0 consisted of no matrices, with Lon using a 3 star 4 piece Lon, Leowa using a 3 star 4 piece Leowa, and Zeke using no matrices. This is what we use to compare all the matrices. Version 1 consisted of Zeke matrices, with Lon using a 3 star 4 piece Lon, Leowa using a 3 star 4 piece Leowa, and Zeke using his 0 star 4 piece and 3 star 4 piece matrices. Version 2 consisted of DPS matrices, with Lon using a 3 star 4 piece Lon, Leowa using a 3 star 2 piece Lyra, 3 star 2 piece Cobalt, and Zeke using a 3 star 4 piece Leowa. Version 3 consisted of free to play matrices, with Lon using a 3 star 4 piece Shiro, Leowa using a 3 star 2 piece Shiro, 3 star 2 piece Amir, and Zeke using a 3 star 4 piece Hapoella. Version 4 consists of no Lon matrices, with Lon using a 3 star 4 piece Leowa, Leowa using a 3 star 2 piece Lyra, 3 star 2 piece Cobalt, and Zeke using his 3 star 4 piece matrices. This was tested using live stat values at the 6 star, and this team used the Leowa trait. So this is what this team could do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, starting with 0 star. As you can see, DPS matrices are the clear winner. 6 star we have max Zeke matrices, and you can see that they're the clear winner. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. And you'll notice that version 4 is the clear winner, coming close to the meta team. 
So now let's talk about the rotation, which is similar to the Fiona Flame team. Ideally, you want to have one discharge bar for faster buffs, but you want to start out by activating Zeke's skill into a dodge attack, and then you want to activate Lon's discharge into her skill, and then you want to activate Leo's skill, and then do two normal attacks into a hold attack six times. Then you want to jump cancel Zeke's discharge into his skill, and then you want to activate Lon's discharge into her skill, and then you want to rinse and repeat step three and above. Note, the main thing is when Leo's skill is two to three seconds off a of cooldown, you want to jump cancel Zeke's discharge into his skill. Which brings us to the Frost comp. And the old team consisted of Fiona, Yulon, and Alice. With Fiona using a three star four piece Fiona, Yulon using a three star two piece Lyra, three star two piece Amir, and Alice using a three star four piece Yulon. And in two minutes and 30 seconds, they were able to reach 720 million. So these are the average stats of the Frost Zeke team. A little over 11k crit and close to 26,000 Frost attack. And this team consisted of Fiona, Yulon, and Zeke. And for the matrices, we have quite a few comps combinations. Version 0 consisted of no matrices, with Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Fiona, Yulon using a 3-star 2-piece Lyra, 3-star 2-piece Amir, and Z used no matrices. We used these matrices to compare the rest of the matrices. Version 1 consisted of Zeke matrices, with Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Fiona, Yulon using a 3-star 2-piece Lyra, 3-star 2-piece Amir, and Z used his 0-star 4-piece and 3-star 4-piece matrices. Version 2 consisted of Yulon matrices, with Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Fiona, Yulon using using a 3-star 2-piece Lyra, 3-star 2-piece Amir, and Zeke using a 3-star 4-piece Yulon. Version 3 consisted of free-to-play matrices, with Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Shiro, Yulon using a 3-star 2-piece Shiro, 3-star 2-piece Amir, and Zeke using a 3-star 4-piece Hobbowella. And they use the Yulon trait. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill you want to use Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill you want to use Maelstrom. But if you have over 1.6 million HP, you want to use Wellspring as a primary skill. And this is what this team can do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Start starting with 0 star, and you'll notice that Yulon matrices are the clear winner. 6 star Yulon matrices are still the clear winner, and this is what this team could do using live stat values. As you can see, Yulon matrices are the best, and this does compete with the metaphysical team. So now let's talk about the rotation, which is a little bit complicated. Ideally, you want to have one discharge bar for faster buffs. So you want to start out by doing Zeke skill into a dodge attack and then do two normal attacks. Then you want to activate Fiona's discharge into her skill. Then you want to switch to Yulon and activate Maelstrom and do two normal attacks into her skill. Then you're going to do a backwards dodge into two normal attacks and you will repeat this until you have six stacks of inner strength. Then you're going to do another backwards dodge into two normal attacks and then activate the skill. Then you will continue to do backwards dodges into two normal attacks until there's five seconds left of Maelstrom. Then you will jump cancel Zeke's discharge into his skill and then activate Fiona's discharge into her skill. Then you will forward dodge with Yulon, activate Maelstrom and do two normal attacks. Then you will backwards dodge and do two normal attacks and you're going to repeat this until you have 10 stacks of inner strength and then you will activate the skill. After that, you're going to continue to backwards dodge and do two normal attacks until you have another 10 stacks of inner strength so that way you can activate the skill once again. After you do the skill for the second time, you're going to go ahead and backwards dodge, do two normal attacks until Maelstrom has 5 seconds left of his cooldown. Here you will jump cancel Z's discharge into his skill and then activate Fiona's discharge into her skill. Then you will switch to Yulon and activate Maelstrom into her skill because you should have max stacks of inner strength. Then you're going to backwards dodge and do two normal attacks and repeat until you have 10 stacks of inner strength and then activate her skill. Then you will do another backwards dodge to two normal attacks and then activate the skill once again. From here, you're just going to backwards dodge and do two normal attacks until there's five seconds left of Maelstrom. And then you want to rinse and repeat step 13 and above. So to put it simply, when Yulon's on the field, you want to do two Yulon skills a rotation, step 1 through 12. Eventually, you will start having max stacks of inner strength. At this point, you want to do three Yulon skills a rotation, step 13 through 19. Other than that, you're mainly switching off a of Yulon when Maelstrom is at a 5 second cooldown. Which brings us to the last team, Rainbow. And these are the average stats that we're working with, almost 11k crit and close to 29,000 flame attack. And this team consisted of Yulon, Liowa, and Zeke. Version 0 consisted of no matrices, with Yulon using a 3-star 4-piece Yulon, Liowa using a 3-star 4-piece Liowa, and Zeke using no matrices. We use these matrices to compare the others. Version 1 consists of Zeke matrices, with Yulon using a 3-star 4-piece Yulon, Liowa using a 3-star 4-piece Liowa, and Zeke using his 0-star 4-piece and 3-star 4-piece matrices. Version 2 consisted of DPS matrices, with Yulon using a 3-star 4-piece Yulon, Liowa using a 3-star 2-piece Lyra, 3-star 
3-star 2-piece Cobalt, and Z using a 3-star 4-piece Leowa. Version 3 consisted of free-to-play Major Seas, with Yulon using a 3-star 4-piece Shiro, Leowa using a 3-star 2-piece Shiro, 3-star 2-piece Samir, and Z using a 3-star 4-piece Hapoella. Version 4 consisted of no Yulon Major Seas, with Yulon using a 3-star 4-piece Leowa, Leowa using a 3-star 2-piece Lyra, 3-star 2-piece Cobalt, and Zeke using his 3-star 4-piece Major Seas. And this was tested with live stats at the 6-star level. And they used the Leowa trait. And this is what this team could do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, starting with 0-star. So you'll notice that DPS matrices are the clear winner. 6-star, we have Max Zeke matrices, but as you see, they just barely beat DPS matrices. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. Here, you can see that version 4 is the clear winner, but it still does not equal the meta teams. So now let's talk about the rotation, which is similar to the Leowa Lawn team. Ideally, you want to have one discharge bar for faster buffs, but you want to start out by activating Zeke's skill to a dodge attack, and then you want to do Yulon's discharge into her skill, and then you want to activate Leowa's discharge into her skill, and then do two normal attacks into a hold, five to six times. Then you want to jump cancel Zeke's discharge into his skill, and then you want to activate Yulon's discharge into her skill, and then you want to rinse and repeat step three and above. Main thing to note is that when Leowa's skill is five to six Six seconds off a of cooldown, you want to jump cancel Zeke's discharge. Next, we have the free to play teams, and for the first team, these are the average stats a little over 9,000 crit and close to 25,000 physical attack. And this team consisted of Fiona, Claudia, and Zeke. With Fiona using a 3-star 4-piece Shiro, Claudia using a 3-star 4-piece Abuela, and Zeke using a 3-star 2-piece Shiro, 3-star 2-piece Samir. And they use the Zeke trait. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill they use Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill they use Maelstrom. But if you do have over 1.6 million HP, you can use Wellspring instead of Hydro Focus. So this is what this team was able to do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. This is what this team could do using live stat values. As you can see, it's a pretty strong team, especially just using free-to-play matrices. So let's quickly talk about the rotation, which is similar to metaphysical. Ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs, but you want to start out by activating Claudia's discharge into her skill, and then you want to activate Fiona's discharge into her skill, and then you want to swap to Zeke, activate Maelstrom, and then activate Zeke's skill. Then you're going to do a five normal attack combo into a four dodge three to four times, and you're going to swap when Maelstrom is at an eight second cooldown, and then you simply rinse and repeat. And here are the average stats of our next team. A little over 10k crit and close to 25,000 physical attack. And this team consisted of Lin, Claudia, and Zeke. With Lin using a 3-star 4-piece Shiro, Claudia using a 3-star 4-piece Abuela, and Zeke using a 3-star 2-piece Shiro, 3-star 2-piece Amir. They used the Zeke trait. So this is what this team could do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. This one is actually fairly close to the Fiona team, but Fiona's Maelstrom just gives it that extra edge. So now let's quickly talk about the rotation, which is similar to the Alter team, and ideally you want to have one discharge bar for faster buffs. So you want to start out by activating Lin's skill to call his discharge into her skill, and then you want to activate Zeke's skill, and then do a 5 normal attack combo into a forward dodge 4 times. Then you want to jump cancel Lin's discharge into her skill, and then you want to activate Claudia's discharge into her skill, and then you want to rinse and repeat step 3 and above. Which brings us to the last free to play team, and these are the average stats that we're using. A little over 9k crit and close to 25,000 physical attack. And this team consisted of King, Claudia, and Zeke. With King using a 3 star 4 piece Shiro, Claudia using a 3 star 4 piece Abuela, and Zeke using a 3 star 2 piece Shiro, 3 star 2 piece Amir. And they used the Zeke trait. And this is what this team could do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And this is what they could do using live stat values. As you can see, it's lower than the other teams, but that's due to the fact of no big buffs or big off-field damage. Well, let's quickly talk about the rotation, which is similar to the Alter team. Ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs. You want to activate Claudia's discharge into her skill, and then you want to do King's discharge and skill if available. Then you want to activate Zeke's skill, and then do a 5 normal attack combo into a forward dodge 4 times, and then you rinse and repeat. You could consider canceling King's Discharge for higher DPS and only activating it when a shield is up. Now for the disclaimer slash notice section. And the first thing that I want to mention is the testing environment. To where we have a lot of input lag, we do not use smart servants, and we use average player stats. So you might get better results than we do. For example, the old physical meta team was only able to pull out 588 million on the test server, whereas on the live server, they were able to pull out 600 million. Number two, matrices. You'll notice that in the free-to-play sections, we use Habuela matrices over Silka, to which these matrices are only slightly better than Silka's. 
So I still recommend that you use whichever one you have the higher stars of. Cobalt matrices are better than Samira matrices for flame teams, but these are harder to get than Samira matrices. Lyra matrices, which are extremely powerful. I would say that these are stronger than Genono matrices, at least when it comes to the metaphysical teams and also very powerful DPS matrices. Lyra's two piece greatly increases the attack of your main DPS and it gives the added benefit of increasing the healing received as well, keeping your main DPS alive. Lyra's four piece greatly increases your physical elemental damage and it helps you tank oncoming damage by providing big shields for every dodge. But do note that Lyra matrices will most likely be entering the standard pool in either patch 3.2 or 3.3. Zeke matrices are really powerful. It increases the Serpent Chain member limit to 5 instead of 4, allowing you to do more AoE damage. On top of that, as long as you have at least one physical or one flame weapon in the team, it greatly increases the physical attack and flame attack, which rivals Lawn matrices. If we take a look at the 4 piece effect, as long as Zeke applies Snake Bite, it increases the physical attack and flame attack once again. On top of that, all you have to do is just be in combat and you instantly get a final damage buff, which rivals Fiona matrices. Number 3. Other Elemental Teams The Flame Zeke team with Lon and Liowa and the Frost Zeke team with Yulon and Fiona are much closer to the metaphysical team. Both these teams were tested at a character level of 93, whereas the other teams were tested at a character level at 95, so they're going to be much closer to the metaphysical team. Notice this. Lin unfortunately was not a very strong strong team due to the fact that Fiona with her Maelstrom buff is just too powerful for the physical team. Recommended Relics I recommend that you have a 1 star Overdrive shot and a 3 star Kuan 2. If you don't have a 3 star Kuan 2, you could use a 5 star Omnium Shield. Recommended Augments Let's start with the physical team. So for the gloves, you want Normal Attack. For the Reactor, you want Discharge over Dodge Attack, but both of these are minor buffs. And for the Bracers, you want Weak Point, which is conditional, but it is better than the other alternative, Discharge, which again is a minor buff. And then for Pants, you just want Normal Attack. Flame. For Gloves, you want Weak Point, but it is conditional. Other than that, I would go with Normal Attack. For the Reactor, I would go with Dodge Attack. And for the second choice, Discharge, but these are minor buffs. For the Bracers, I would go with Weak Point, but again, it is conditional. Other than that, I would go with Skill Damage. And for the Pants, I would go with Normal Attack. Lastly, we have Frost. For the Gloves, I would go with Weak Point, but it is conditional. Other than that, you want to go with Normal Attack. And for the Reactor, I would just go with Dodge Attack. And for the Bracers, I would go with Weak Point, but it is conditional. But other than that, you could consider it Skill Damage. And for the Pants, I would go with Normal Attack, but Dodge Attack is an option as well. And... Zeke will most likely be buffed on release. So like the Yulon video, I will provide a Google Doc a day after release so that way I can let you know of any buffs or updates that I need to make to this video. Zeke brings a much needed buff to the physical team with his grouping, his AoE, and survivability. His gameplay is not difficult to execute and he also excels as a support by giving Flame a big buff. By replacing Fiona, the team can be in DPS resonance. He can also apply Grievous to do more damage. On top of of the AoE and grouping he provides. His only downside is that he does do physical damage, so he won't do any damage in any element specific content like Sequential Phantasm, besides physical. For Frost, there is a big increase as well, but do note that the Shatter does go down, so it could be really difficult in real combat, but most likely the next Frost unit will fix these problems. Zeke is truly the free to play king to where if you have zero stars, you have 90% of his power, to where just having one copy of Zeke will be strong for most accounts. But even if you do decide to fully max him in his matrices, it gives you plenty of options for the current and future teams in Tower of Fantasy. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and let me know down in the comments, are you pulling for Zeke, or are you waiting for future characters? But other than that, I'll talk with you guys later.